All right, let's see if it's still there. Yep. So I knew I needed a stable line and a knot that could hook the can. My first thought was to use a constrictor knot to tie in a rock, and that would stabilize the line. And then I would tie a knot that might work as a hook. So here's our simple setup. Our rock will help stabilize the cord. And then the knot we just tied in is wider than it is deep. And so I should be able to slip it into the mouth of the can and fish it out. <laughs> well, since that didn't work, I tried another setup. This time the hook end was pointed 90 degrees away from the main line and the counterweight was much closer to the hook. But after about 15 minutes of trying, I went back to the drawing board. Of course, I didn't waste a chance to grab the bike again. By the time I came back, the Michelob can was gone. But luckily someone hit a Budweiser can. Let's give this a try. So with this new version of the hook knot, I tried again. First I had to fish the can back towards me, and then it took me about 43 seconds to get the can. So I knew I needed to take my rope and create a structure that would allow me to hook into the can without the rope being so floppy. So here's what I did. So I'll take the end of my rope and I'll give myself plenty of room. And now what I'll do is with the free side down, I'll put my fingers in and I'll create a cow hitch. Just like that. Now I'll take this end, create a bite, and I'll pass it through both loops and I'll need to tighten it down. The tighter, the better. All right. Now that that's tightened up, I'm going to pull this just a little bit so that I can create another hitch, right? Right now I have my rope going out at 90 degrees, but I want it to go back up. So I'll take another hitch, pull it in, take this bite and pass it through again. Same thing. I'll need to pull everything tight. Now the tension here in these knots is what helps create the structure. And so I want to make sure that it all goes together as tightly as possible. Okay, let's see here. This rope here, I need to pull it this way. There we go. All right. Now you can see our loop is poking up and we're almost there to our hook. I'll pull this tight, pull this down. This is gonna be the length of our hook. I'll take my free end here and I'm gonna start wrapping it up. I'll go right up, wrapping all the way around, keeping it tight as I go up. All right, and then here I'll take this end and I'll push it through. Looks like I don't have enough to keep it, so I'll do it one less turn. There we go. And then here is what I'll need to pull to tighten it all down. There we go. But now you see when I try to keep my hook upright, it doesn't give me a whole lot of support to lift my object. So what this loop does is hold a counterweight. So here's just a random rock. I'll place that into my loop. Of course, it's got to match up with the diameter that you have. And now it counterweights the hook and I'll be able to pick up my can. Of course, it can't be that heavy, but it is enough to pick up something that would be lightweight. 